All right, good afternoon. Welcome to Hudson Fields here at Hazen Union High School in Hardwick, Vermont. Your Hazen Academy, Hazen, yeah. Hazen Union Wildcats taking on the People's Academy Wolves is what I'm saying. Harry Frazee at the plate. I think we've got three and one right now is the count. Three and one or three or two. I'm, I'm seated in the wrong spot. I'm going to have to move here in a second because I can't quite see the scoreboard to get the count. Three and two maybe. Three and two the count. There's a solid shot. Out to left, parking underneath it. Caught. And I can't really identify who's out there. I've got numbers and stuff, but they're an awful long ways away, and I wasn't able to get a lineups card to see who's playing where. But nice play by the left fielder. For Hazen. Camden Strong up next, a junior. Fouls that one back. Listen for the clunk. Second pitch in for a strike. Andrew the Mauler Menard on the mound for the Wildcats has yet to allow a hit this season. Hazen with it comes in with a record of two and one, PA 0 and three. Hazen beat Payne Mountain here last Thursday when they opened their season up at home, then went down to Payne Mountain on Saturday, beat them 4-2, and then went to Montpelier on Monday and lost 10 zip. Pitch in, shot in the middle, down underneath the shortstop, over to first, will he beat it out? He does. Nice play. Again, I'm not sure, I'm gonna have to try and get numbers as we go along here, if I can get them from anywhere. Wasn't able to get lineup cards, but I do have rosters and years, so. Slight improvement from my last game. Derek Baxter up. A senior. For PA Menard, the pitch. Swing and a miss. Come on, Mel. Hey, I, I want to hit. Inside for a ball. Two and one the count to Baxter. Three and one. Ball four, walks Baxter. Up next, Brandon Allen, a senior. Runner goes, hit up the line. That's going to go foul. Trail off foul. If it would have stayed fair, that would have been some extra bases all the way, but goes off foul. There's a shot up to right that is fair. It's going to be extra bases. Baxter on his horse coming around. Allen goes in with a double. Runners at second and third, and Andrew Menard has given up his first hit of the season. Two outs. 
Renard in a little bit of a jam here. Runners at second and third. Batter coming up, I believe, is Quinn Kelp, a junior. Looking to knock some runs in. Menard looking to get out of this inning without giving up any runs. That one is high, caught, foul. Three outs, and Menard gets out of a jam by a nice play. I believe that was Jake Hayden over there at third that made the play. Nice play by Jake to get us out of that one. All right, moving to the bottom of the first. Hazen coming up to bat now. You are watching Hazen Wildcat Baseball Action here on HCTV, channel 1080 on the Cape of the Hill, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Our sponsors today, the Village Restaurant, open 6 to 3 every day, breakfast and takeout all day. Check out their daily specials. And the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org, jumpstart your future. Grayson McNaughton at the plate. One of the players that came down from Crashbury this year. is a sophomore. Camden Strong on the mound. Quinn Kelp at catcher for PA. PA looking for their first win of the year. Foul back. They have lost to U32, 16-1, Richford, 13-4, and Lemoyle, 10-6. Swing. Three pitches, and he's out, is Grayson McNaughton. Strong getting a strong start here today. Owen Scorstead strides to the plates. For your Wildcats, first pitch. That one's hit a mile high. Strong's going to park under it and make the catch. Two up, two down. Let's see if Andrew Menard, who hit a huge double here the other day, to help himself out with that no hitter he had against Payne Mountain. The man knows how to swing the lumber on the rink and on the diamond. First pitch in for a strike, I believe. Oh, that's a ball. There's a hit out to left. Left fielder underneath it makes the catch though. Three up, three down for the Wildcats. No score after one. We'll move to the second. Pass this driving or is written? Oh. I had put more wood on the fire and it was warm, but I think we're gonna want it the way it is out here right now. I don't know, I'm gonna be cold by the time I'm done. I stack some of that wood. Okay. Hey, work ahead, Bernard, See you later. Work ahead. All right. Garnet Matson at the plate for the People's Academy Wolves. Matson, a freshman. Menard. In for a ball. as the church bell chimes go off downtown. I love that sound when you're up here doing sports and you hear the church bells. Uh, to me, that's just small town right there. One and one you count. Swing and a miss. One and two.
Chopper up the line, rolls fell. Count stands at one and two. Strike three on Matson. Nick Pierce, a senior, up. In for a strike. That was uh, Andrew's first strikeout of the game. And a fly out, a throw out, a walk, a hit, and a fly out in the first inning. Strike two to Pierce. Strike three, two Ks in a row for the Mahler. Making short work of the People's Academy Wolves in this inning. Seamus Burgess up. Strike. Andrew in the uh, fifth inning of the game here against Payne Mountain last Thursday threw nine pitches. Struck all the way to complete that inning. Burgess, that one's going to go through the middle. That's going to be a hit. We got McNaughton at short. We saw him make a nice play in the first. He almost got that one. That was a, that was a hot shot by Burgess going up through there. Brody Boye up now. Burgess runs, throw down, not going to be in time. Burgess is going to get a stolen base. Strike one on Boye, stolen base for Burgess. Top of the second, no score. On a, yeah, it's not, you know, it's not a bad day out here. I mean, the wind's a little chilly, but we're not going to have mosquitoes and we're not going to get sunburned. Here we go, Andrew. Come on, buddy. You got it. Go on out. Burgess goes down to third, throw down. Not in time. Burgess is going to steal third as well. Put himself in scoring position here. Looking for Boye to get a bat on it. Two outs. <laughs> Coach Kelby Benson going for it here. Aggressive base runner. That's what the Cats are known for. It's a strike by Boye to end the inning. So one hit, a couple of stolen bases, three Ks. And the uh, PA Academy goes down without putting any runs on the board. Second, Jake Davison at the plate for the Cats. You're watching Hazy Union Wildcat Best Baseball. Yes, on HCTV Channel 1080. Streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Sponsors today, the Village Restaurant, open six to three every day. Breakfast and takeout all day. Check out the daily specials in Green Mountain Technology and Career Center. GMTCC.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Davison just jump started a hit right out there. And that one drops in, and Davison's got himself a hit. A little bit uh, center fielder coming in, shortstop going out. They got a little mixed up. And uh, Davison got himself a hit. Matson's at. Short. I'm trying to see who's out there. If that's an eight, that's Burgess. Out there in center. I may be wrong on the center fielder. I'm trying to, it's, that's a long ways away. But I know Matson's definitely up. Here's Dan DeGrosselier up, senior, for the Cats. With Jake Davison on base. Bottom of the second, no score. Here from beautiful Hudson Fields. Hazen Union High School, Heart of Vermont. Lance Hall with the call. 
Art on camera and tech today. Davidson's gonna take a base on that pass ball. Art doing it all today for us. Three and oh, you count. Davison on second. Three and one. Strong on the mound for PA. Davison's going to go. They're going to get him. Davison tried to go to third. Didn't quite have the jump he wanted out there, I don't think. And uh, nice play by Kelp to uh, get that throw down to third. Oh, and Burgess is on third, so I have no idea who's on center then, who, who got mixed up with uh, the shortstop on that one fly ball that gave Davison a hit. So, so my apologies to Seamus. He is on third base to try and find out who's on center. That one down in the dirt. Going down is Dan the girls there. He makes it in. I tell you, Kelp's got an arm on him. I don't know if we're going to mess with this guy very much. Justin Montgomery at the plate. Tip. Trying to find my roster here that Aaron Hill gave me because I don't see a number 22 on my thing for Hazen. That's who we've got lined up. I think it's Fenton Meyer. Montgomery. At the plate. Yes, it is Fenton Meyer. Goes here back. Ball skips through. He's going to try for third. Center fielder. All right, it looks like it could be a five. Could it be a five? I'm trying to look out there. Okay, if it's a five, it's Harry Frazee, who's a junior. In center. Anyway, Dan DeGrosse here gets down to third. Montgomery trying to make something happen here on the count of one and two. One out. He's looking to put a run on the board here. Montgomery, swing and a miss, strikes out. Fenton Meyer. Side. Two and oh. Two out now. That's a strike. Two and one. It's a hit to the infield. Second baseman back makes a catch. And People's Academy escapes. Both teams put runners in scoring position here in the early innings, and nobody's able to put any runs on the board, however. Is it still 0-0 going to the third here from Hudson Fields at Hazen Union, Hardwick, Vermont. Top of the third, Harry Frazee at the plate for PA. Andrew Menard, three strikeouts in, uh, in the uh, second inning. Frazier a junior. Ball one. 
Ball two, a little high. That one high. That one low. Frazee draws the walk. Wildcats, of course, new coach this year, Sean Allen. Joe Revard. Or as I like to call him, Samoa Joe. Helping with the transition. Throw over to first. Frazee beats it back. All right, Camden Strong, who has pitched a good game so far for PA. Frazee tries to take second, throw down. Frazee gets into second. Stolen base. Strong back in the second got thrown out down at first base. There's a strike. Two and one, you count. No outs. Frazee on second. Derek Baxter on deck. Swing and a miss. Big cut. Hi. Full count to Camden Strong. No outs. Strike three. Rings him up. Menard struck out four of the last six, allowing a walk and a hit to the other two batters. Baxter at the plate. It looked a little high. Brandon Allen, another senior on deck. There's a solid shot to the gap. That's going to put a run on the board as Frazee scores. And Baxter is going to hold up at third. Triple for Derek Baxter. Frazee scores to make it one zip. PA up one zip. Still one out. Allen swinging a miss. Help up next. <laughs> Throw over to third. Keeping Baxter honest over there. That one fouled back behind us. Uh, that's well behind us. One and two, you count. Okay, 
struck him out. Almost looked like a uh, you know, slow curve or something out there on that one. That was a, definitely an off-speed pitch. All right, two outs. Baxter at third. Frazee scored off of the walk and the uh, Baxter triple. Cal, nice job by Montgomery to keep that one in front of him. That's the other thing. We don't want any balls getting by Montgomery and letting Baxter come in for another run. Kalp. Swing and a miss. One and one, your count. Just low. Two and one, your count. Three and one. You got the PA coach saying, got to be your pitch. He walks. Kelp with a walk. Garnet Matson up next. Freshman. One zip, top of the third. High. Nick Pierce on deck if needed. Menard looking to get out of this inning without going down any more runs than the one. Baxter on third, courtesy of his triple. Beautiful hit out to right center. There's a swing and a miss. And going down to second is Kalp. One and one, you count. That's it. There's a hit out to left, going back. Back, back, back. Oh, misplayed it. Ball goes under, Baxter scores. And Kelp scored two more runs. And Matson in with a, a, another triple. Three zip PA, Nick Pierce up. Two triples this inning. Misplay by the left fielder. Had a shot at it, just couldn't quite get his feet underneath him to get under it to make the catch. <laughs> Foul back. No cars hit. Bit of a two out rally here for PA. Pierce, one and two. Runner at third. And get the tag to get the third out. And PA goes up three zip off of a couple of triples there. So we'll move to the bottom of third. Hazen looking to see if they can get a little bit of a rally of their own going. All right, coming up, bottom of the third. Hazen looking to rally here. After going down three zip there in the top of the third, you're watching Hazen Union Wildcat Basketball on HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Did I say basketball? You're kidding me. It's baseball. Baseball is what we're watching here. <laughs> Thanks for the good catch, Art. I'm still in basketball mode. I mean, it's cold, you know, so I'm thinking basketball. 
Uh, Lance Hall with the call for this baseball game here. Art on tech and camera. Sponsors the Village Restaurant. Open 6 to 3 everyday breakfast. Take out all day. Check out the daily specials. And Green Mountain Technology and Career Center. GMTCC.LNC. Jumpstart your future. Now I'm going to have to jumpstart my brain to try to remember this is baseball. Baseball, not basketball. I'm just so used to saying basketball. All right. Jake Caden at the plate. Three and one your count here in this baseball game from Hudson Fields here at Hayes Union High School in Harvard, Vermont. Strong's pitch, good for PA. Jake, swing and a miss. Strike three on Hayden. Landon Miller. Bottom of the third. Catch trail three zip. Miller takes strike one. There's something about a check-in down there. So I guess a little confusion on the field there. There's confused down there as I am up here. I don't know if I'm calling baseball or basketball. And I'm hearing something about a check-in down there with Miller coming to the plate. So I don't really know what will happen here. Coach Sean Allen chatting with the home plate umpire. Umpire goes over. Yeah. <laughs> Okay. I don't know. I heard something about an unannounced sub. Like I said, who am I? Who am I to try to explain it? I don't even know what I'm calling. All right, Miller. Oh, Landon Miller. I do know that's who's at the plate. Miller, a sophomore. Inside. Two and one counts. Two and two. One out. Miller, strike three looking. Back to the top of the order now with McNaughton. Hayes and Bench coming alive. They are some of the best talkers. They're not quite as chatty as past teams, but they're doing, they're, they're, they're picking up on it. One and one, you count two outs. <clears throat> Bottom of the third, catch trail three zip. Kalp going to go out and talk to Strong for a minute. Tell you, Quinn Kalp behind the plates is, I'm impressed with the arm, with the way he keeps the ball in front of him.
Good catcher. That one's foul. Going to go two and two now. Two and two, your score. Ball. Full counts. That one fell. McNaughton will come back and try it again. not keeping himself alive here at the plates. Hi. McNaughton's going to take the walk. And Owen Scorstead. See if the Cats can do a little bit of a two-out rally. McNaughton on first. McNaughton thought about going. I, I don't know if I would try it against Kalb today. Guy's got a cannon for an arm. Back to first. McNaughton down. There, Kareem's off the shortstop. He uh, he looked like it hit him right in the face. Went down there. Ball took a funny hop and came up and caught him. Looked like it went off his head or somewhere. Kind of scary. Derek Baxter, the senior. Playing second base, I believe, was coming in trying to make that play. It was, that was a hot shot by Scorstead. Baxter trying to make a play. He got down in front of it, held it up beautifully. But, man, that ball took a hop and just caught him. I don't know. That's why I don't like baseball art. I'm scared of the ball. That happened to me. I, I would be curled up in a fetal position out there. Yeah, there's no crying in baseball. I tell you, I wouldn't cry, but I don't know. The ball are up. See if he can help his own uh, cause here today with runners at first and second as McNaughton walked. Of course, they've got the hit. We've seen Menard. Some big hits. Two outs. Want to know your count. Catch trail three zip. Runners on first and second. Almost caught McNaughton out there. Andrew the Mauler Menard. Oh, cranks one straight away center. I don't know if they're going to get underneath it or not. No. It's going to drop down. One run scores. We're going to have another run come in. And in with a stand up double is Andrew Menard. And a two out rally going now for the Cats. 
Two runs on the board. Jake Davison at the plates. A lot of action out there in the field. Coach out to talk to his players. I don't know who's playing what, and I don't really dare to say anymore. I think I know Frazee's in center, I believe. But the whole thing started started sort of with that scary shot that uh, Scorstead hit. They caught Baxter with that funny hop. I mean, McNaughton had drawn the walk to get there, too, as well. After Strong had uh, struck out the first two batters in this inning, we had McNaughton with a walk, Scorsett with a hit, and then Menard with a double, scoring the two runs. So 3-2. Thriller here from Hudson Fields. Both teams putting runs on the board with two outs here in the third. Andrew Menard helping his own cause today. Jake Davison takes a cut, swing and a miss. <laughs> Davison's going to slice that one foul. 0 oh 2. Good eye on Davison, he wanted to swing. Menard's into third. So if Davison can just get his bat on a ball here, counts so went two. Two outs. Swing of the bat away from tying this game up. But get a hit. And I think he's gonna get a hit on that one. As that one is out into the trees, into the gap between center and left. Menard comes in to score. Davison chugs around with a stand up second. A double, that is. Chugs into second with a stand-up double is what I'm trying to say. And just like that, it's 3-3. Three, three. Dan DeGroslier coming up. Two-out rally here in the bottom of the third for the Cats to tie this game up. 3-3. Three, three, three. Davison on second. Once again, strong. Struck out the first two batters. Since then, he's reeled off a walk, a hit, and two doubles, and gave up three runs. Off of some funny hops and some skips and but some timely hitting as well. The girls they are inside. Two and one, your counts. Three and one. Justin Montgomery. On deck. That one low. Jake's not going to try for third this time. Kalp's too good back there. Dan DeGrosier walk. Keep the inning alive. Runners at first and second. Swing and a miss for the sophomore. There's a shot looking in the right, right at the right fielder with a catch. So at the end of three, Cats come back, put three of their own on the board. Both teams scoring three runs in the third inning. And it's a 3-3 game moving to the fourth here. 
from Hudson Fields, Hayes Union High School, Hard Vermont. You know what, Art? I'm going to stand up for an inning. At least a half an inning. Shamus Burgess at the plate for PA here, top of the fourth. Saw these teams explode for six runs, three apiece in the third inning after a scoreless two. Two and one, your count. I like this home plate umpire. You can hear the count from him. <laughs> if I have any questions, he usually gives it. He does it loudly and with authority. I like that. Burgess, hi. Pitch by Menard. This game moved up an hour early with the threat of rain coming in later on. Burgess back to Menard, knocks it down, play over to first. One out. Bouye up next. Way struck out his first time up in the second. Brody Bouye. One and zero. You count. Bouye, a freshman. One and one. One and two. Ooh, yeah, with a big cut. Inside. <laughs> Struck out. <laughs> Harry Frazee up next. Here we go, Dan. One, two, three. 
There's a shot out to center, parked underneath it, the center fielder, and it's three up and three down for the Mahler. Here in the top of the fourth. Cats look to get some runs on the board. All right, coming up for the Cats in the bottom of the fourth, Fenton Meyer. You're watching Hazen Union Wildcat Baseball here on HCTV Channel 1080, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Lance Hall with the call, art on camera and tech. Sponsor State of Village Restaurant, open 6 to 3 every day, breakfast and takeout all day. Check out their daily specials and the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lmc.org. Jumpstart your future. Fenton trying to jumpstart the bottom of the fourth, but he pops up to the catcher. I mean, to the pitcher. Pops out to the pitcher. J.K. I got catchers on my mind here. Hayden. That one low. Slices that one fell. Oh, and one, one out here, bottom of the fourth. Oh, and two. I think Jake's a sophomore. Let me go to my schedule here. Takes a ball. Yeah, Jake is a sophomore. Two and two. Three and two. Three and two, full count to Jake Hayden. One out, bottom of the fourth. Strike three, struck him out. Big time pitch. Landon Miller up next. That chops that one back to the pitcher. Strong over, makes the throw over to first. Three up and three down for the Cats. Well, we didn't get to see him do much, Johnny. The way, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> now, tell me. I don't. I never played baseball because I was scared of the ball. <laughs> Even the catcher back there with all that pad, and with that ball down to dirt, when he's blocking it down, that's still got a sting. <laughs> you just live with it. Now, if I remember, it used to you used to wear like a batter's glove underneath your catcher's glove, didn't you? Yeah. Talking with Johnny B here, one of the big, great catchers here at Hayes Union High School. Member of the last championship, baseball championship team, right? Yep. 82. Uh, yep. Won it over in Burlington. Yep. Graduation day. Graduation day, exactly. <laughs> I remember coming home, everybody was pretty happy. All right, I felt a couple of raindrops of you. Okay, we'll stick with this as long as we can. <laughs> Moving on to the fifth. Game tied, 3-3. Three, three. Menard's still on the mound. I believe we're going to have Strong up. Here to lead things off in the fifth. 3-3 three, three, your score. Yeah. 
All the runs coming in the third inning. Fourth inning, it was three up and three down on both sides. As I feel more raindrops. Strong. Turns on that one, sends it foul up the line. In for a strike. One and one, you count. Or one and two, excuse me. One and two. Strong. Out to left. Dan DeGrosier are not going to catch up with that one. Strong's going to be in. It's, he's going to stop at second. That one over Dan's head. Strong in with a double. Baxter, who has walked and hit a triple in this game, up next. That one gets by Montgomery. Strong's going to go down. Brandon Allen on deck for PA. As Strong moves to third, Baxter looking to bring him home and give the PA lead back here in the top of the fifth. Mighty cut. Two and one, you count. Three and one. the pitch Baxter Baxter walks strong thought about coming home on that ball that went up by Montgomery second walk of the game Brandon Allen senior Menard gets that one over. It's going to be in the end. Strong is going to score. Baxter's going to be in the second safe. And Kelp, the catcher, up on the bat. Baxter down at Baxter down to second, Allen on first, Kelp at the plate, Strong scored. With no outs here 
in the top of the fifth. PA back up 4-3 now. Garnet Matson on deck. He's a grown man. He's a frat guy. Got stubble. Montgomery out talking to Menard. They know you last time. Oh, good good half. Go, babe. Slice that one foul. Oh, and one to Kelp. Or 0 and 2. I guess I don't see anything going on the scoreboard over there anymore, so I guess I'm going to have to rely on my memory, which is not. <laughs> Try and listen to the home plate umpire. No, that one's high. I'm seeing a ball up there, but I think he's got a couple of strikes too. I think it's one and two, maybe. Three and two, full count. Struck him out. Big strikeout for Menard with runners at first and second and no outs. At least get the first out. Matson up next. Matson, I believe, hit a triple last time. Yes, he did. He hit a triple last time. Nick Pierce, senior on deck. Matson, I believe, is a freshman. One and out. Runners go. Throw down to third. Not in time. Runners advance to second, third. One and one, your count. One outs. That one high. Andrew would like to have that pitch back. I think in the moment it left his hand, he wanted that one back. Three and one. Pitch, Matson fouls that one off. We'll go three and two. Matson wants time. Strike three, struck him out. Big time strikeout for Andrew Menard. 
Nick Pierce. That's a play, two outs. We've seen both teams do some damage with two outs before. Pierce uh, struck out in the third, and he struck out in the second. So over two. After giving up a double, a walk, and a hit. Menard looking to get out of this inning with just giving up the one run. One and one to count, two outs, top of the fifth. PA's put one on the board here already in this inning. Runners at second, third. Inside. Seamus Burgess on deck. Three and one the count. The last thing Menard wants to do is walk Pierce and load the bases for Burgess. Two outs. Foul tip, three and two. Full count now. Full count now for Nick Pierce. Two outs, top of the fifth. Menard delivers in the dirt. He's going to walk him. After striking out the last two batters, Menard walks Pierce. We've got a pinch hitter coming in. Number three is Cohen Cookson, a sophomore. For the Wolves. So Cookson pinch hitting for Burgess. Base is loaded for the Wolves here in the top of the fifth. They've already put one run on. Andrew Menard on the mound, delivers high. Strike one. In for a strike. One and two, you count. Base is loaded. Andrew Menard wants a strike here. Struck him out to end the inning with the bases loaded. Andrew Menard, big strikeout right there on, on Cohen Cookson to end that half of that inning, but not before PA put a run up on the board, so they lead 4-3, going to the bottom of the fifth. Bottom of the fifth, Cats looking to make up a run here as PA put one on there to put themselves ahead. Hey, there's a start. Frazee back to make the catch, though. Nice rip.
Grayson McNaughton with a beautiful head, but Frazier able to get under it, make the catch. Owen Scorstead up next. There's another big hit high in the air. I think uh, right fielder is going to come in and get underneath that one. So another two up, two down. If I saw the number correctly going back, that was Brandon Allen over there in right making that catch. Andrew Menard helped his cause last time. Let's see if he can help his cause this time. Hit a double. Drove in some runs. Big hit out to left. And Menard will be on with a single. So let's see. Jake Davison. Menard with a double last time he was at bat. Davison with a double as well, right after him. So we'll see if Lightning can strike here twice with two outs. See what we can do as far as maybe tying this game up. And we're going to have a pinch runner for Menard. Elliot Rosenthal. Rosendahl, excuse me. Elliot Rosendahl. Pinch running for Andrew Menard. Davison. Chopper. Third baseman underneath it over to first. And three up and three down. All right, we'll move along. Uh, top of the sixth inning. Pitching change here for the Wildcats. Owen Scorsted takes the mound. Andrew Menard. Did pretty well. I mean, he, he, all things considered, threw a lot of pitches. Score 4 3. Up to first. Skinner's off. Back to make the play, though. That was Alex Hudson. And I didn't double check everything. I didn't remember calling that name before. Frazee up now. For the Wolves. You're watching Hazen Union Wildcat Baseball here on HCTV, channel 1080 on your cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Lance Hall with the call, art on camera and tech today. Double duty for art. Sponsored by the Village Restaurant, open 6 to 3 every day. Breakfast, takeout all day. Check out their daily specials and the Green Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. Count is 1-1 one one with one out here. Top of the sixth. Make it one and two. Owen Scorstead once again on the mound for the Cats. Harry Frazee with Camden Strong up next. That one outside. A little darker, a little windier, a little chillier. Move the game up an hour to beat the rain. and Looks like it's going to happen. That one's way high over to make the play. Can't get there. Two 
two and two. One out. That out to center. Just over the infield and in front of the outfield for a nice hit. There for Hazy. Frazy. Camden Strong has also pitched a decent game today. I mean, both pitchers, you know. Yeah, we've seen Frazy down a second. We've seen some hits. We've seen some bobble plays and stuff. I think both these guys have pitched, you know. I think Strong has pitched very well, and I think Menard did okay. They'd probably beg to differ with seven runs on the board between both teams, but inside. Two and zero. <laughs> Two and one. The count. Frazy hanging out at second. Looked outside. Three and one. Ball four. Strong takes his base. Baxter up next. Seen him draw some walks. He hit a triple earlier in the game. <laughs> oh, and one to count. Baxter, a senior. Runners advance. One and one, one out for Baxter. Runners at second and third. Once again, we saw a pitching change this inning with Owen Scorsted coming on to relieve Andrew Menard. Yeah. Was over to third. Oh. Thought they had him. Jake thought he had him. Frazy just beat the tag. Strike three. Struck Baxter out. Nice strikeout if Baxter can hit. Brandon Allen. Up now with two outs. Top of the sixth. Outside for a ball. Frazy on third, Strong on second. One and one. <laughs> Outside for a ball. Two and one. 
Three and one. I don't know if I've gotten this right or not, but it looks like a 12 on there. I thought it was a one. Landon Miller behind the plate? I can't tell with all the gear on. It's definitely a double number. I think it's Miller behind the plate. Yeah, it is. Allen draws a walk. I think I might have thought it was Justin Montgomery. But it's uh, Landon Miller back behind the plate for Hazen now. Quinn Kelp, the catcher for People's Academy at the plate now. Two outs, runners on uh, full base, full, full, uh, bases full, bases loaded. Bases loaded is what I'm trying to say. A little bit of a jam here. One and all your counts. Two outs. Top of six. Bases loaded. Inside. That went down in the dirt. Three and oh. Come on, Owen, you got this, buddy. Kelp at the plates. And Scorstead walks in a run as Kelp will go to first base. That's Frazee coming in. at the plates. Matson last time struck out. He hit a triple earlier in the game. Struck out before that. So see what happens here in the sixth inning. Five three, your score now. That one high. Solid shot by Matson out to left. Dan comes in, makes a nice catch. Big time catch. No, that's not Dan. Is that Dan? No, it's number 22. That is uh, Elliott's, isn't it? I mean, look, I want to make sure I credit the right person because it was a beautiful catch. I believe it was Elliott's, wasn't it? Beautiful catch out there. I didn't. I didn't catch the number. Twenty-two. Uh, that is Meyer. Fenton Meyer. That made the catch. Yeah. Fenton Meyer saves a bunch of runs on that catch out there and left. So. But at the uh, we're in the middle of the sixth. PA did put up two runs to go up five-three. See what the Cats can do. Bottom of the six here, Dan DeGrosier at the plate. Count of one and one. PA put two runs on the board there at the top of the sixth to make it a 5-3 game. No, put one run on to make it a 5-3 game. Fenton Meyer, beautiful catch out there and left us to save a bunch of runs. His bases were loaded there for Garnet Matson. Ball gets by Kelp. 
throw off a of first up in the right. The girls are going to get on the plates as a rare ball gets by Quinn Kelp. We haven't seen him miss too many. Montgomery up at the plates. Montgomery will move up, to, uh, the girls here will move up to second. Pickoff attempt fails. Montgomery, no outs. Dan, the girls here on second. Montgomery swings at a high one. Benton Meyer on deck. Scores up the bunt, beautiful bunt, lays it down, strong up, throw over to first. Montgomery's gonna get thrown out, but he moves uh, Dan over to third. One out. Beautiful sacrifice bunt by Justin Montgomery. Fenton Meyer. Foul tip. and Hayes and Union Wildcat Baseball here on HCTV, channel 1080 on the cable dial, streaming worldwide and archived at www.hctv.us. Lance Hall with the call, Art on Cameron Tech, or sponsors today by the Buffalo Village Restaurant, open six to three every day, breakfast, takeout all day. Breakfast and takeout all day. Check out the daily specials, Screen Mountain Technology and Career Center, gmtcc.lnsd.org. Jumpstart your future. 0-2, oh, your count, one out. Bottom of the sixth, catch trail, runner on third. That one hit a mile high. It's gonna drop down into foul territory, but be caught. Two outs. Gavin Stratton at the plate now. Swung high at that one. One and one, you count. Takes that one. Two and one. Stratton takes a strike. Beautiful pitch by Strong. Two and two, two outs. Bottom of the sixth. Stratton with a hit, gets by the infield. He's gonna get a single, he's gonna drive in to Groslier. Make it a 5-4 game.
Landon Miller up next. Another one of those two out rallies here. Now the Cats bench comes alive. Stratton on first. I'll tell you, this kid can burn. If, if Miller gets any type of hit at all, Gavin, I have no doubt, can get to third easily. Maybe score. Opposite field, foul. Gavin Stratton isn't quick, he's sudden. But, uh, to Strong. Strong's going to take it right over to first. Make sure on that throw to get that out. Cats get back one run. Make it 5-4 PA at the end of the sixth. Final inning coming up. Nick Pierce here in the top of the seventh up for PA. Count 1-0. and oh. PA clinging to that 5-4 lead. Owen Skorstedt on the mound for the Cats. Andrew Menard went five innings. Gave up four runs. I don't know how many hits. I'm keeping track of some of the stuff. I can't keep track of everything. Too many moving parts in baseball for me. Pierce, take his base after Scorsted. Nicked him. Seamus Burgess. Up for PA. Burgess, shot to right. Ball drops. Pierce is going to go to third. Burgess, Burgess is at first. Runners at the corners. No outs. For Bouye. Runner goes down to second. Runners at second, third now. Brody Bouye at the plate. counts. <laughs> Bue goes down to first. Coach Sean Allen out to talk to Scorstead. Base is now loaded, no outs.
Harry Frazee up now for the Wolves. With the bases loaded. No out top of the seven. PA up 5 4. Two and oh. That went off the backstock. All right, Frazee at the plate. Count two and one. No outs. Top of the seventh. The base is loaded. That one's bat foul. Almost got the PA bus. Almost got the PA bus. Two and two. Here we go, Frazy fouls that one off. <laughs> I'm having a good time listening to Camden Strong down here talking to Frazy. He's just chattering it up down here. Some great stuff happened. I wish we had him mic'd up. He made a catch off the uh, foul off the backstop. He's just having a good time. He's loose. Can't find the handle. Finally. Makes a play over, but not before the score runs. Scores a run. So everybody's safe on that. And strong at the plate. It's a 6 4 game. Strong, cranks one, parked back underneath it. But a run will score, and runners will be at the corners. As Strong just blasted that one out there to left. Seven four. Your score. Runner goes. Runners in second, third. Baxter up.
Cats now trail by three. Still just one out. Runners at second, third. One and one, you count to Derek Baxter. Goes over to third. Okay, Baxter with a shot. And he got thrown out. I kind of lost myself there when I heard nothing through my headsets. Allen at the plate now. Ball outside, two outs, but a run scored. So we're gonna make it 8-4. Side. Another run's going to score. Nine four. last time. Miller, one ball. Allen's going to take us. Base, Landon Miller struggling a little bit behind the plate today. Go, big dog. Back. He's right around both. Fine. Two outs. Coach Allen wants to go out and talk to Scorstead a little bit on the mound. <laughs> Jaden 